very top of everybody's list. Like these are the two guys that you were just terrified to go up against in lane, and he's still quite a good mid player. So interesting to see. It's a little bit of the I don't want to say the old blood because it makes him sound super old, but it is a little bit of the newer kid versus the uh, the storied player, so to speak. Yeah, for sure. And top Swan is also a very creative mid laner. He'll play in different ways uh, than you might expect normally. Top lane, they see him oh chasing boy, him. Yeah. Yeah, they are just going right after Cuckoo. They want to get themselves the first blood, and uh, it's looking like they should be able to find it. Just trying to keep the vision, so that way V-Tune... Their attacks here to try and deny the draw a little bit of our farm. In that nice aggression. Do throw the shards out, but they've got the uh, homing missile, the flat cannon coming in strong. Not going to be quite enough to finish off the Enigma, but enough that he's going to have to play very carefully now and sit back. While this goes on, we end up losing Kugu yet again in the top lane. Zephyr trying to put out as much damage as he can, but it is proving to be a bit difficult all by himself. Regen rune. That feels so good when you're playing a spirit. Yeah, it's super nice. Count, though. Oh, we have the, the Snapfire Kisses, so it looks like they're going to try to do enough damage, but with Sweden Strong here, it's not going to end up working. Thompson now in trouble. He's taking a lot of damage here from the tower. Does have eight of these wand charges. He's forced to pop them. And he's just barely going to make it out with 40-something hit points. Meanwhile, top lane, there. big chase. Top lane, oh, and V-Tune too, running for his life. Cuckoo's going to have that decay up in about two seconds. And he should be able to go and finish off V-Tune. Black hole is available. They want to try for Jaro. I mean, they have to be so careful, though. There's the call down. Okay, Try to put sure. out as much damage. They're holding on to the fissure just in case. There it is. There is no black hole for you, my friend. As they'll put some more damage over onto Sweden Strong and get themselves yet another kill. That was patience from White Mom there. I think Tusk needs to go somewhere and try and set up again. But maybe they want to fight mid. I mean, that was what I was going to ask, is is it better for them to get a smoke and try to gank Ana and then have Solo join in using the, the ultimate? Or I guess if you can get yourself V2, that's a pretty good deal. But we'll see no one teleport over to the mid lane. They're going to clean up these creeps, try to push them back. Uh, later on. Can we call it a triangle still? I feel like we can The can't. biangle. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sounds better Double than Double damage on tops and he's got himself... A ember in his sights. Does have to be careful though. Sweden Strong is here. He's going to be able to throw out the shards, but still feel a little bit reluctant to go in because Zephyr's standing nearby and now he has the Winter's Curse. So they need to be extremely careful how they start positioning. But so does Zephyr on the same side because uh, Solo does spot him over on here. White Mon standing nearby does not have the six just yet. Does have the Fisher. They'll go in though using the Winter's Curse. White Mon. Gonna try to help escort Zephyr out. The Snowball, though, coming into play. Plus the Slight, it's enough to get the kill. Cuckoo, though, coming forward. They should be able to get the kill on Sweden Strong. As they drop that Tombstone, not gonna be able to get anything else beyond that. Able to land successful ganks on him. And Lance just moving away these Eidolons, but... I was seeing the teleport come through. They do have the black hole. They get a little bit too close here. In fact, there are a couple of heroes standing very close. They've got the snowball. They'll roll over onto Ana. The walrus punch up into the air. They turn around with the flat cannon. They'll be able to get a kill before they eventually end up losing the gyrocopter. So v going to be able to finally... Without time, yes, he is. Just TP out and you're fine. The Fisher was on cooldown and the homing missile not fast enough. I like that Navi are respecting the tombstone when it goes down. Don't fight under a tombstone because it will be very difficult to win that fight. Uh, even though it's only level 2, it makes such a big impact. Uh, if you don't have great heroes for clearing it, if Undying is zoning out the Draw Ranger. And look at T1 making another rotation. This aggression coming out from them. All right, a good gust. Well, silence, but be able to just get the launch off over onto V2. They have so many ways of closing this gap right now. In fact, in comes Solo, but he's just a little bit too late now as he's going to have to pull himself away using that hammer. Pack completed for the Enigma, and we have the Urnishai. So we're going to Blink Dagger next because I feel like... They've been playing so defensively, they want to get more offensive attacks. Sweet and strong. Oh, again, he is the frontliner at this time. White Mon waiting patiently over onto the side. They split up very nicely, though, because they don't want to end up falling. As now White Mon fighting with Sweet and strong, he's still going to be able to get that kill, despite the fact he's sitting solo. Cookie forward over onto Lace. He is not looking healthy. He's not going to be able to get this black hole off at all. Yeah, and where's no one? During all this, he was not even there for the fight. So We're on to T1. If they were able to get this black hole... I feel like they need to send Dawnbreaker over to a side lane as well and just shove lanes more. Ember's here trying to fight. 
three over in the corner. Again, they don't have a blink dagger yet for the Enigma, so this makes it a bit more difficult for them to get that perfect positioning. Although no one getting a little bit too far ahead here. Having to be a bit careful. We'll go for the slides after sitting very low. Walrus Punch comes through. They'll get the kill now. Follow up with that slow with the call down. Cuckoo continuing to just throw out the decay. Does have the flesh golem available if he wants to try to pop it. Early game uh, lineups. And we got to see Gobble up. They're looking. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Cuckoo's like, oh, guys, please follow up. Please help me. Cookie going forward. That's going to end up using that cold embrace. Keep him alive a bit longer. Sweet and strong. Follow up with the curse. Maybe not necessary there, but they still managed to get the kill. Cuckoo not looking so healthy, though, as he is going to die. The buyback now coming out from Sweet and Strong. They join in. They've already used that Cellar Guardian now. No one leading the charge. Seeing Thompson. They don't have the cookie available just yet, so he's going to finally end up falling here. Jaira as a BKB is ready to fight, but I think he's respecting Black Hole a little bit as he has two teammates dying already. Especially when Thompson is dead. Maybe it's wise to just back out of this. Might well, need to be a bit careful here. Throwing out the Fissure does have the Echo. We'll go for it. And that's a double kill for the patient White Mon. Wow, that ward, the, the ward that White Mon plays just before this. About your positioning when you're dealing with Zephyr on this Winter Wyvern. I think the timing is going to be when they have double BKB. They just finished BKB on Dry Ranger. I think they need one on Ember as well. There are so many ways he can get caught out, but they want to contest Roche. Let's see the slime. Again, they just don't have an easy way to get into this pit with this Enigma. Yeah, Back Enigma. off. They've already used the Tombstone. Oh, Blink is coming in Smoke. right now. He's smoked up. Oh. That's Black Hole Blink. This is big. This could be so huge for the side of Na'Vi if they can get the initiation, if they find the opening. But again, both teams smoked up. We'll reveal Ana. They can see that opening, making their way both towards the pit. Cuckoo, smoke will pop. This Roche sitting so incredibly low. Another smoke getting used. They want to use this just big power spike. Slace sits very far back. They don't the have Undying ulti anymore. Like that time, now it's Navi trying to steal Roche here. This is very cheeky. This is pretty crazy. White Mon throwing out the Fissure will land over onto no one. But there it is. There's the Roche. It's going to be VT who picks it up. They've got the silence over onto Kuka the BKB. But again, Winter's Curse coming into play. Going to slow down VT. But now this means that if they go for a black hole like this, they have nothing over here to really stop in case. But they follow up with those kisses, putting the damage down. A nice long range fissure coming out. Cuckoo barely staying alive here. Is he going to be able to make it out? Ooh, 17 hit points. Do you have a completed Agnum Scepter on Ember now? And Navi, they group up over on the side. They go for the smoke. They're going to try to bait. I'm not sure if they quite caught that, though. BKB Black Hole is such a huge threat right now. Oh, what a, what a hit here with that one spit. Following up, though, BKBs are going to get used. Thompson trying to fight. Sweden Strong is going to get saved in the nick of time with a little bit of that heal. Not sure it's going to be quite enough as he does manage to die, but take someone out along the way. There's going to be the buyback now from Sweden Strong going in with the Solar Guardian. He's trying to keep alive, trying to move people around. The blink forward, though, again, as the Roche is up. And they're just chewing through it so quickly. Again, they do have a double damage. And a shard so on Undying. Gonna, ah. Now with an Aegis picked up, too. I don't know if Navi... Like, what do they... What options do they have? As, all right, all right, there. There's an option right there. As we talked about, no one trying to get in there, trying to get the kill on Zephyr. Does manage to take out both of the supports very, very quickly. BKB getting popped on Cuckoo. Ana waiting nearby. It's just going to blink away. It's really big since there's no MKB on Jar up yet. That is pretty huge. Vtune completing that Scotty, so now they'll be able to counteract a little bit of that healing that's coming through. But it's just playing very carefully. They're letting no one be. Oh, okay. Find White Mon's courier. They know where they are now. Vtune's courier. Sweet and strong gonna reveal himself. Follow up with the Remnant. A little bit far of a dive here for no one. Pops the BKB on it over onto the side. They finally get that black hole that they're looking for, and they do so much damage. They'll be able to get that kill. Zephyr falling over the back lines. Cuckoo, the next one to go down. A beautiful strike coming out from the side. He can smoke himself. He also has Shadow Amulet, so he can go Invis, which he used Rushes against the Ember there. Awesome. All tools. This feels like Zephyr is. Uh... Gotta play a flawless sort of game here if they want to be able to 
get that counter initiation that they're looking for. No one waiting patiently off to the side. He's still smoked up. E Tune positioning himself a little bit further away. Gonna reveal yep. the ember. No black hole yet. in the one remnant. No black hole just yet. 20 seconds. BKB, no one going in. Following up with the Warrus Punch. will be able to hold Bichu off to the side, though, using the Winter's Curse. It's going to be Cuckoo who ends up picking up that Aegis of the Immortal. So, finally landing in. They'll get the kill over onto Zephyr. Cuckoo, that's going to be the Aegis popping. Lace looking for this opening. He's going to black hole in about four seconds. But Hobson's going to be able to just zip away using that Wind Waker. They'll get the kill on Solo. And just like that, three dead over on the side of T1. I'll go, they'll pop out the fortification. I have to say, no one is just playing out of his mind here. Yeah, for sure. Definitely my MVP for this game. Like, he, he's playing so good. It's rare that you'll see your Ember Spirit. <laughs> Look, yeah, he's just hanging out by White Mon. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure someone's here. Just uh, follow up though, over onto no one. Has to be a little bit careful, but the snowball coming in hot. They're gonna follow him using that Wind Waker. There it is, there's a black hole over onto Thompson, over onto Zephyr. It's beautiful as they clean up. That's a double kill now. White Mom buying back, wants to be a part here, trying to make sure that they don't get any more out of the space, but it's gonna be gosh darn impossible. Fly back from the Winter Wyvern. Can they get anything else here? Looks like they're going to put the damage over onto Sweden Strongest. Anna is back up and running, but over here, V2 just shreds through that tombstone. And now Zephyr, you cannot hide from no one. He is everywhere all at once. A BKB coming out now from V2. They get, they're going for the black hole, and they get the plenty of damage coming off. There it is. There's the GG call. Navi playing such a patient game number one as yeah. they're able to take down the aggressive T1. Beautiful. The refresher coming in towards the end there.